guys, I hope you're all doing well. I have some really exciting video to show you. I had Yogi Bryson out to give Lottie and I a pole work session, so something a little bit different to dressage. I've had a few sessions with Yogi before, but they've always been at squad training where we've had the beautiful indoor arena at the Unicorn Centre, which is huge, but also they have so many poles there, which was great to build up loads of exercises together. But for me, I only have a 20 by 40 arena at home and I only have a limited number of poles. So I wanted to have some transferable skills that I could do at home to build on a weekly basis. So Yogi was kindly enough to come out and give me a session on Lottie at home. He'd never seen Lottie before and he absolutely fell in love with her. He gave me so many useful exercises to do. So I thought that I would share them with you. So I really hope you enjoy this video. The exercises are suitable for anybody at any level. So you can transfer them into walk, trot or canter. Um, so I really hope you find this beneficial. Um, but let me know how you get on. Let me know if you do some of these exercises at home on your horse or pony and let me know what results you get from them. But make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give my video a thumbs up and please let me know how you're getting on in the comments below as well. So enjoy the rest of the video and I look forward to hearing all of your success stories. Okay, thanks, Yogi. Very good. Super. Great. Then you can walk and...
I hope you enjoyed watching those exercises that Yogi taught Lottie and I. Um, we kind of had a bit of an overload in that session. Yogi taught me so many exercises in the hour and a half that he was there. And Lottie was so exhausted by the end of it. So maybe what I would recommend is taking one or two of those exercises every week and just working on those properly. We only really did that well each exercise once or twice on each rein just so he could teach us the striding and teach me and Lottie exactly how to ride them and um, so now when we're practicing I'll maybe take one of those exercises or two of those exercises and do them in one session rather than bombard me with all of them in one go um, but I don't know if you quite got the objective of the canter one. Um, I'm not sure if it was very clear in that video. Um, but basically, it, you canter over the first pole and then you count in a normal working canter how many strides you take until the next one. The two poles parallel to each other are to make sure that you stay straight. Um, so you count them. I got eight strides between them. It can be any stride, however many strides you want it to be. It doesn't have to be measured out. Um, and then next time I came round, Yogi got me to add an extra stride in. So I had to really collect the canter and I had to get nine strides. And then the next time I had to have more of a medium canter. And so I aimed for seven strides. And it's a really good exercise to be able to push the canter on and bring it back and really work and think about your canter strides and the quality and the straightness of your canter. So it's a really good exercise. It can also also be done in trot as well um, and walk if you want to work on your collected walk and um, so again all of these exercises can be done in walk trot or
or canter. Um, the one on a circle is a really good one to do just on a general day of training. Just bring it in from the track and do a pole at maybe 12 o'clock, 6 o'clock, 3 o'clock and 9 o'clock. Um, and again, you can do that walk, trot and canter. You can also go on the outside of the pole, the middle of the pole or the inside of the pole to vary the size of the circle. Um, but you can also take the poles off of the track so you can work normally as well. So it's a really good one to just leave out in the arena and also the ones in the corners as well. They're really good for just incorporating into your normal schooling session. So I hope you found some of these exercises really helpful and uh, make sure that you get your striding right for your horse. Obviously every horse is different so make sure that you stride those out properly and it's always handy to have somebody on the ground. So if you if the horse knocks one, as you can see that Lottie did that quite a lot, um, if the horse knocks one um, or if you've got them a little bit raised and they knock them off that you don't have to keep getting off of your horse and putting them back and, and re-measuring. So it is a lot easier if you've got somebody on the ground with you. But good luck and let me know how you get on with them. Um, I can't wait to see some of your videos maybe or to hear how you're getting on. So uh, make sure you let me know. Thanks guys, look forward to seeing you soon, bye.